Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my automotive kill switch video. This video works for any car with an electric starter motor on it. All cars are going to have a starter solenoid. Some of them can have it external, but we're focusing on this wire S right here. So all starter solenoids are going to have the big battery cable going straight to the battery, and they're going to have a wire coming from your ignition switch to activate the solenoid, and on my GM cars, it's a 10 gauge purple wire. So no matter what kind of car you're working on, it's going to have an ignition switch somewhere. So these wires can be different colors, usually 10 or 12 gauge, but we're looking for the wire coming off the ignition switch that's going to give power to our starter solenoid. So what a lot of people don't realize is that your car already has a kill switch. It's called a neutral safety switch. So if you try to start your car in reverse or in gear and you turn the key to start, it does nothing. So we turn our key on at the ignition, sends power through this switch. If our car is in park or in neutral, it's going to complete the circuit to start our car up. The one we have on there only works if we're in reverse or in gear. So what we have to do is tap into this circuit and add a manual override. So this is going to be called our kill switch. So since we're tapping into this circuit, we need to find an adequate switch. A 20 amp switch would be fine. You can find these pretty cheap that are pretty easy to flip back and forth. Now for the basic idea, you want a single pole, single throw, it's going to have two little places to attach wires to. So all you do is you just reroute that wire that would go to the starter through an adequate switch. And now you have a manual override kill switch. So now you just find a nice place to hide that switch. Whenever it's on, the car starts up fine. Whenever you switch it to off, the car does nothing when they crank the key. So all you creative guys and girls, let's throw in a bonus feature. So that's your single pole, single throw switch. Let's get a different switch now. So if you want to do something that's really cool, you get you a single pole, double throw. So a single pole is going to take the power from the ignition switch and it's going to come in here to the middle terminal on this switch. So this switch has three positions, straight up and down is off. When we turn it that way, it's going to complete the circuit, sending power to our starter to start the car up. But now if we turn it that way in kill switch mode and then we can take that other terminal on the switch and wire that to any type of alarm. In this case, we're going to wire it straight to the horn of the car. So we're going to have to tap in there and splice in here. But now what happens whenever you turn your kill switch or engage the kill switch, it's going to send power through the neutral safety if you're in gear. And instead of sending it to start the motor, we're not starting anything. Instead, we're sending power straight over here to the horn. Now, the starter is a momentary cranking. So if somebody's sitting in your car and they're trying to steal it, they're going to crank it. And every time they crank it, it's going to beep that horn. You got to keep in mind, there's all types of horns they sell. If you don't want to run it out to the horns on the front of your car, you can buy a cheap $20 horn and just mount it under your dash. So if somebody breaks in your car and cranks that thing, it's going to beep and this is just a really cool idea. This is a true theft deterrent right here. If you hear that horn honking out there, you better run out and find out what's going on. So very simple to wire this up. I've seen cars in my life where people have put the kill switch on the ignition or the fuel pump. You don't want to do that because anybody that's still in your car, number one, they don't care about you and they're going to crank that thing until something starts smoking or burning up. If they go out there with an install like this, they're going to crank that ignition and it's going to beep that horn. So. You do it the way you want to, but I have done this on cars before and never worried about anything. Part two, we're going to wire this up on my 70 Chevelle plus that bonus horn feature. And you're going to see it when I crank it, it ain't going to start the car. It's going to beat the horn, but that's in part two. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.